Uh, my name is Aaron Jabari. I, I'm a Google employee. Um, I went to UC Berkeley and studied political economy. Oh, I'm 21. I just turned 21. I decided to run when I was uh, sitting at a city council meeting discussing the, uh, the general plan update and kind of uh, changes to zoning and, and I waited through the kind of two hour meeting to put in my two minutes worth of, of input. And I stood up and gave my input and the city council member said, oh, you know, thank you for, thank you for speaking. We really appreciate the member, the, you know, the input of, of new community members and young people. And I sat back down and, and waited till the end of the meeting and went home and, and I said, wait a second. My commitment level does not need to be two minutes. Uh, my commitment level can be 20 hours or 40 hours a week, whatever, whatever it requires. Um, I just, I felt inspired to, to step up and take that, that voice of the, the young members of our community. This is my girlfriend, uh, Caitlin Powder de Gerberg, um, also my campaign manager. So. We're rather new to the area and weren't quite sure where everyone was. And then we started thinking, well, everyone's on Facebook. Um, so we created a, a site that's Aaron Jabari from Mountain View City Council and you know, put up um, the platform of what we you know, hope to do if, if, if you get elected. I was really kind of surprised by the number of people that reached out. I, I kind of at first figured out, well, I'll put it up there and people will, you know, somebody will find it and maybe it'll sway somebody's decision. And it's, it's really, I was more thinking about it in terms of, well, I could spend my money and time on a sign or I could do it on, on Facebook. And, and I'm incredibly glad that I, you know, I, I chose Facebook over a sign because nobody's going to come up to you and reach out to you through a sign. Whereas really, um, you know, hundreds of people reached out through mm -hmm. Facebook. Aaron cast his ballot before heading to work at Google this morning and planned on spending the evening with his fellow candidates, Dan Wailonis and Greg David, at Greg's home in Mountain View. Shortly after the polls closed, Aaron was carrying a mere 6% of the vote, and the candidates' excitement was muted. There were no TVs or laptops in sight, and Greg occasionally checked his iPhone for election results while Aaron received updates from his girlfriend. Despite Aaron's position in the polls, his fellow candidates were supportive of his grassroots campaign and commended him on his non-defeatist attitude. Aaron Jabari may have lost the city council elections, but he plans to stay involved in the Mountain View community and has applied for positions in the Environmental Planning Committee, the Bicycle Advisory Committee, and the Human Relations Commission. It's been fun.